Now that our project has an image the user selected, the next step is to let the user apply varying core image filters to it. To start with, we're just going to work with a single filter, but shortly we'll extend that using an action sheet. If we want to use core image in our apps, we first need to add two imports to the top of contentview.swift. Import core image and import core image.ci filter built-ins. Next, we need both a context and a filter. A core image context is an object responsible for rendering a CI image to a CG image, or in more practical terms, an object for converting the recipe for an image into an actual series of pixels we can work with. Contexts are expensive to create. So if you intend to render many images, it's a good idea to create a context once and keep it alive. As for the filter, we'll be using CI sepia tone as our default, but because we'll make it flexible later, we'll make the filter use at state so it can be changed. So add these two properties to content view. At state var current filter equals CI filter dot sepia tone and let context equals CI context. With those two in place, we can now write a method that will process whatever image was imported. That means it'll set our sepia filters intensity based on a value in filter intensity. Then read the output image back from the filter, ask our CI context to render it, and finally place the result into our image property so it's visible on screen. Func apply processing current filter dot intensity equals float filter intensity. Guard let output image equals current filter dot output image else return. If let CG IMG equals context dot create CG image output image from output image dot extent. Let UI image equals UI image CG image CG IMG image equals image UI image UI image. The next job is to change the way load image works. Right now that assigns to the image property but we don't want that anymore. Instead, it should send whatever image was chosen into the sepia tone filter, then call apply processing to make the magic happen. Core image filters have a dedicated input image property that lets us send in a CI image for the filter to work with. But often this is thoroughly broken and will cause your app to crash. It's much safer to use a filter's set value method with the key KCI input image key. So let's change load image to this. Let begin image equals CI image image input image. Current filter dot set value begin image for key KCI input image key. And finally, apply processing. If you run the code now, you'll see our basic app flow works great. We can select an image, then see it with a sepia effect applied. But that intensity slider we added doesn't do anything even though it's bound to the same filter intensity value that our filter is reading from. What's happening here ought not to be too surprising. Even though the slider is changing the value of filter intensity, changing that property won't automatically trigger our apply processing method again. Instead, we need to do that by hand. And it's not as easy as just creating a property observer on filter intensity, because they don't work well thanks to the at state property wrapper being used. Instead, what we need is a custom binding that will return filter intensity when it's read, but when it's written, it'll both update filter intensity and also call apply processing. So the latest intensity setting is immediately used in our filter. Custom bindings that rely on properties of our view need to be created inside the body property of the view because Swift doesn't allow one property to reference another. So add this just inside the start of the body property. Let intensity equals a binding of double get self dot filter intensity set self dot filter intensity equals dollar zero self dot apply processing. Now it's important. Now there's some logic inside the body property. You must place return before the navigation view like this. Now that we have a custom binding, we should attach our slider to that rather than directly to the at state property. So that changes to the slider will trigger apply processing. So 
change the slider code to this, value intensity. Remember, because intensity is already a binding, we don't have to use a dollar sign before it. You need to write value intensity rather than value dollar intensity. You can go ahead and run the app now, but be warned, even though core image is extremely fast on all iPhones, it's extremely slow in the simulator. That means you can try it out to make sure everything works, but don't be surprised if your code runs about as fast as an asthmatic ant carrying a heavy bag of shopping.